Brandon here, the 6-4 Explorer again, exploring with Urbex Stickland. I've got another good one for you. I've got a house, I've got a couple barns. This place is, it's been on sale, up for sale for about 10 years. Never sold. The power's still on, there's no water. Wait till you see inside this place, there's lots of stuff left. But it's almost like it's being used for storage, kind of. But you can tell nothing's been in there for a long time. There's dead birds on the ground, mold all over. You'll see when we get in there. I'm gonna do the barns real quick first. They're kind of mazy, so I'm gonna do them quick. They're almost a little scary, so we'll get through those, we'll get those done, and then we'll get into the house, all right? Let's get exploring. Barn number one. Couple big stand-up fridges. Bunch of boxes for when there was power, but everything's been cut, as you can see. Cut, taken out. Little closet. We'll look at this side walking up. Look at the other side walking back. We got a big giant barn area. Nothing too crazy here. Weird little upstairs hole. room, some birds nests, some calendars, I was going to see if that one there would have had a date. There's power in here too. The ground's not holding up very well anymore. So that's bar number one. Now we will. See, that was this area and then that was the big open barn spot protected by guard dogs pile of car parts that's really cool Those actually come out. Little crystals on them. That's really cool. Those are actual little daggers you could pull out. Awesome. Some old doors. Some insulation. Got an old sign. Some real old ladders. Table saw. Toolbox is just full of random crap. Bunch of old tools. And it's all just soil in these garbage bags. It's all just a bunch of dirt. Here we go. Old book. An old 
little figure. Some old pictures of people and horses. An old cassette. That action figure is really cool. Part of a table. Pump. We've got a couple grinders, a fan. Who knows what's in those, but we'll be careful. Not sure what these even are. Just a little dog kennel. Not much going on in there. That stick's weird. It's almost like they have birds or an iguana. Just a little spot for chickens and for feed. And nothing too crazy. crowbar on the floor but this is where it starts to get a little weird okay people we've got a basement the lights already on so that's a bit strange just to start hello is anybody home and this area down here is very weird it's like a little maze. Everything's falling down. This guy's got a lot of freezers. Lots of dog kennels. All the freezers have been empty. Speaker. I'm trying to get music to go all through here. Another fan. <laughs> and another freezer. Empty. Horse brushes. Whole lots of dog bowls. More dog bowls, another kennel. What's in here? Not much. And again, sorry I'm walking through here kind of fast. I don't want the video to be too, too long and we've got a, a house we gotta look at still. There's a dog bed. A bunch of dog beds. Still some dog poo. <laughs> Another freezer. So what's that, six now? Five or six? Nothing again. Weird little area. And we've made it to the end. Some brick walls. Just another nice little spot. All right. We're going to make our way out of here. I will see you at the house. There's just a little bit of what's in between the two barns. This one's got a nice little silo. And let me know, if you've seen any people squatting down in the basement that I didn't notice, point it out. 
Now I only just looked in the first couple rooms to see if the place was going to be worth it. People, thank you for opening the doors for me, but you got to do it a little bit more respectful. Turn the light on just in case, but see what I mean? As soon as you come in the door, you got a dead bird. I don't know why there's so many staples on the wall. But look at this place. They took out the barbecue. Now there's still the fire alarms beeping. But again, those last a really long time. Just a tiny little kitchen. Everything's been taken out. It's at the stage where it doesn't really smell bad, like mold or old, but it's got that cottagey kind of smell. Vacant smell of wood. Holes in the wall. Stuff hanging down everywhere. I don't know what this house was used for at all. It's got a very weird feeling to it. These are a whole bunch of tax returns and papers. I'm not going to let you guys see any names. Real old phone, Let's see binders and stuff, A little umbrella. What jersey is this? No jersey, just an alpha wear. And like wood all over the ceiling, had a bunch of these weird lights, a lot of fans. Guard dogs. Look at that. The old wood stove. It's in the closet. Shouldn't be there, but. Wow. She's quite rusty. See what I tell you? This house is starting off pretty good. Another sign when nobody's been here for a while. Empty toilet. Ew. Somebody's been in here. Well, of course somebody's been in here. You seen the way the door was open. Look at there was a wall here. They had this place closed off before. You can tell with the studs. <laughs> I stop letting the doors hit the walls when I open them. There's more files. That might be in there, that's heavy. A couple old chairs. Now this TV box doesn't have this TV in it. It's got some weird old little tiny square TV. And a mirror behind it. It's a nice little stand though. So that's it for the little makeshift part of the house. Now we're going to get into the real part. No lights there. No water. Clothes hangers in the shower. Look at the floor here. This part of the house just gets even worse. Again, 2017. But to be honest, it, it looks like it's been a lot longer than that. The paint peeling everywhere. The floors down everywhere. 
chopsticks. Not much here. Old microwave. Reserved parking for Maple Leafs fans. Oh, nice lazy Susan. A couple old pens. Oops. I dropped all these inks. I won't pick them up on camera. Clean that up after. Oh! Hello. Well, I don't know if that's, yeah, it looks like it's what it's supposed to be. Little fish pieces. I guess, what you want to call it? Anchovies. Yeah, this place has been abandoned for a while and then not for a while. And this little air freshener's got a light on it. I'm close to the beeper now. Some old horse stuff. Set of keys. I guess that's supposed to go upstairs, but they've got it somehow blocked off and some stairs removed. I guess there might be another way. We'll see. We'll check that out. Hopefully they haven't gotten rid of the upstairs. The only way to get there. Whoa! That fridge smelled bad. Somebody's come in here before this way. They, uh... They left the light on on the porch just to help detour the bad people. I'm not a bad person. I'm just filming. Everything will go back. I had to do that to lock the door, okay? Some old shoes. Plates, a receiver, wow. a really sharp saw, a bunch of tools, really old TV, triple R construction, that's one I've not heard of before. Pool noodles, we got a chair, basketball, speakers. What's in this bag? No way. Look at this, explorers. VHS video recorder. Look at you. You do look sharp. Thing's awesome. Look at the size of that. Oh, you put your VHS in. That's really cool. With its giant charger. <laughs> we'll put you back in the bag. This thing weighs like five pounds. Here. Romance 94. There we go. That was the piecing tape. <laughs> yeah, nice little bow window here. Eh? Another TV if it's in there. Uh, I don't think so. There's just a wooden box. Random bags. A whole bunch of books. I love books. I'm going to have me one hell of a library when I'm older. Too bad I can't 
use some of these awesome books from the places I've found. Because that would be cool. It's a little porch area. some weights got a lot of Chinese food in here American Westerns that's for you Wes a couple of stereo things a fan that's on look at that stuff's falling from the roof as we're walking through this is just a shelf here but they put doorknobs on both sides like maybe it would come out but it doesn't Another bedroom, some DVDs, the town. Look how old this is. Oh, a couple more DVDs. This book's open to Rottweiler training, and they did have Rottweilers. It showed that picture out there. Look at that old machine. The Ibico 1232. The label maker that works. That's cool. Just some little knickknacks. Oh, another gun. A whistle. Some photo paper. Just random, random stuff. Nothing in there. A nice mirror. What's going on, explorers? Piece of drywall sitting on the ground. Just an empty shelf. Downstairs, and why is the light on? Hello? Is there somebody here? Trust me, you're going to be more afraid of me than I am of you. It's because I'm like a monster, you know? I eat people. Nothing in the shelves. Good old paint peeling. This was a little laundry room. I guess maybe at one point had a maybe a toilet as well. And then we're back to the kitchen. The upstairs lights already on too. Hopefully I'm not going to wake anybody up. Oh, you can smell the mold up here. Pretty big upstairs. I don't even know where to start. We'll start with these couple pictures. Horse, hockey, some more there. Let's go down to this one room. Very old heater. Book of Dogs. I'm going to take it off the heater and put it on the ground just, just in case anything decides it wants to happen. This person loved animals, wanted to be a vet. It's an old closet, ceiling cracking. There's nothing there. What do they got going on behind here then? Is there anything? Let me know. So that's a little secret ale. No, wait, maybe I seen a door. 
This is an awesome house. It's big. Lots of rooms. When you can start to get lost in a house, that's when you know it's it's fun. More pictures. Random coat hanger on the wall. That's cool. A wolf. And it's signed. We got a futon. Futon, lights on. But again, if you had nowhere to stay, some of these houses would be perfect for squatting. A rock's been written on. There's a dead squirrel. That's what that smell is. Lord have mercy. Ugh. It's on a cool looking picture. Or under a cool looking picture. Scarface holding a gun that somebody drew. A tiny little washroom. Got no sink, just a toilet bowl. Right. Here we have a bigger washroom. This was like the first place I start to notice that the floors are a little crooked. What's up, Explorers? I guess maybe you wouldn't want to be sleeping in here with that thing. Look at that. <laughs> Very cool. Those are giant lights. VCR, a ton of cups, more VCRs, yep, see, so I called it with everything going on, look at all these light bulbs, the light bulbs, the ballasts, everything, so this house with these vents and everything was definitely a grow up, I called that a bit earlier, and I was right. Those are crazy. Crazy for lights. And that's why they had all the dirt and all those see, flower pots. Tubes with hoses. Tons of clone trays. That's all these are, are clone trays. Again. Oh. What do we got here, guys? Nice. Nice gold bracelet. Some silver earrings. What does that say? NSVS Healthcare Aid. Oh, look, that's we got a silver elephant bracelet. I found some booty. Close that up, put them back here. These tapes, they must have been for security reasons. Again, these light bulbs are all $100 a piece. I got six of them. All the ballasts and all your wires. And for the guy watching it, he can play some uh, piano. This old lock again. Porcelain handles. Last room. <laughs> they were Leafs fans. So you can tell, right? The way that the house is kind of set up. There's just one or two people staying here. 
using it as a makeshift little spot while they grew their marijuana. Okay guys, that's going to be it for the upstairs. Going to take some pictures and see you at the basement. To the basement now. I wonder with everything going on upstairs that this is going to be more oh, a big old coat. Cobwebs inside of it. Hello? Look at that. What could be in there? A little sub pump. It's not flooded. They never finished digging out their basements. So I'm guessing Maybe they were doing all the growing out in the barn and then just kind of staying in an empty house for somewhere to be and to make it look a little less suspect. All this stuff down here always looks so bad. All right, I guess behind this door. Hello? Am I letting somebody out I shouldn't? So that would be too why they had so many dogs on this property. To protect their crops. All right, this was a tiny basement. So I'm here, and I'm looking at a bunch of these papers, and a bunch of it is from the Court of Justice. And on this one, it says that uh, the person committed the offense of unlawfully undertake development of permit or permit another person to undertake development within the meaning of sections. And you keep going on, it looks like they were, they had the people here working on the weed, but it wasn't how they wanted to be here. But there's also documents about a growing case. Another Ontario Supreme Court of Justice. Yeah, so this is a whole lot of court files. I don't know if they should be just hanging around hopefully somebody comes and reclaims all this I'm sure it's probably very important to someone all right explorers I hope you enjoyed that one this place is awesome if it wasn't getting dark I'd probably stay for a while I'm sure I will come back I hope you guys enjoyed it. This one was amazing. A grow up, jewelry, tons of stuff. What an awesome explore. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share it with your friends. This is Exploring with Urbex Sticklin. I'm your host, Brandon, the 6'4 Explorer. I'll have more videos coming. Please keep tuning in, keep watching. Thanks, folks. Ciao.